Now I want to play for you guys a clip in which it has, it's a compilation of a multitude of unbiblical teachers speaking about unity. Now I want to focus in on Francis Chan because I believe this is the sole reason as to why Francis Chan began to go left in the first place. It's his desire to assert unity amongst all who would call themselves Christians, and that, include, that includes Catholics, Mormons, Jehovah Witnesses, that we all need to come together in the name of love and peace in regards to unity. And that right there is his problem. Okay, now this is this is the Francis who himself openly said during a Q&A in which John Piper was a part of that he didn't care much for doctrine, that he wasn't big on doctrine. Okay, and this is someone who graduated from Master's College. Okay, so him not being big on doctrine leads to the fact that his desire for unity has everything to do with unbiblical notions and not truth. Now, Francis has taken verses out of context in regards to unity to mean what they don't mean. Verses like Ephesians 4.13, where Paul says that pastors and teachers are to equip the saints until we attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. Now, this verse in context doesn't mean that we are to just accept any and all, any and everything that calls itself Christian in the name of unity, but that we are to pursue unity in truth. So Paul is speaking of common mindedness, unity with a common truth, okay, a biblical truth. And that's where Francis messes up. So I'm going to go ahead and play a clip for you guys in which Francis basically expresses his desire for unity amongst those who are unbiblical and not God honoring. So one is the truth. I believe that God is calling for unity between those two groups. If you want to call Jesus God, if that's what you want to do, then go ahead. I believe that God is calling for unity. Phil, I think that we are, as Christians, we need to come together. I believe that God is calling for unity. Don't worship. Hey, don't worship you, Christ. Not as God. I believe that God is calling for unity. Jesus couldn't even resurrect himself. I believe that God is calling for unity. The word was a God. I believe that God is calling for unity. I appreciated how both of them were there for uh, a desire to see unity amongst the believers. I believe that God is calling for unity. Just like the Father and Son are perfectly one, he says, that's the way I want my followers to be, so that the world will believe that I was sent from the Father. He says our believability is going to be based upon our unity. I believe that God is trying to unite his people to test the spirit by the spirit because everybody else in the world is uniting and the church, we're so divided. All they see are these arguments and these factions. For there must also be factions among you so that those who are approved may become evident among you. That's interesting, isn't it? There must be factions so you can see who's real and who's not.